Hi everybody, it's me, Don Shanks, Alan Hudson, welcome to Pub Talk. Al, we've had a bit of a game last night, not one of the best in the world, but uh, another big result for Burnley. Big result, you fancy uh, Palace have been on a good run, haven't they? Yeah, been after, on. you know, we see the, the little hiccup at Liverpool and yeah, whatever. Yeah, always going to get beat there, yeah. Um, but no, Burnley... You've got to give Burnley great credit, and yeah, they're, they're managers. Again, English managers done fantastic. Yeah, I what I love about him, he doesn't mouth it. He doesn't. Shit. A lot of these managers shout and scream. You know right. what? You know the, the Marinos of the world. We don't want that no more. You know, it's great to see an English manager like that. Back Backstreet Club, like the ones we play for, QPR, Stoke. Yeah, know. I mean, as we said yesterday, they always produce good players. You know, and yeah. I think that like. Um, you know, this year, it just shows you how well organised they are. I mean, they've had 13 clean sheets, yeah, yeah. and they're up to 8th in the Premier League. Yeah. And they've had no money, and they've been sort of um, starting to have to play some sort of young kids. If they carry on like this, they could definitely be in the top six. I can't think of a, a player they bought in the last 10 years for a big money. Can you? No, no. Usually, usually they do these players. And they sold my man, Danny Ings. <laughs> yeah, well, if, uh, that, well, that, they need money. Yeah. Uh, and the kid, the kid that up front, he played for Anthony at New Zealand, didn't he? Oh, right, okay. Well, you know, oh, really? Said, he played with Anthony, your he son? Played, he played with the New nice, Zealand national team? Yeah, yeah. Oh, and, and, and Andy said he's terrific to work with. Great, great work ethic. Well, they, I mean, do, they do the Sean Dyke way, don't they? They, right. don't, they don't mess about. I mean, that, I, last night they were at it. Right. You know, you would mm. thought they were playing for a bigger prize last night. Mm. Well, I think they are. I think they, they're in such a great position with this win. And, you know, they're obviously a double well-organised side. At the back, they're real strong. I mean, 13 clean sheets. I think Liverpool, whoever it is, is only one other team yeah. matches that. And the thing last night as well, Don, uh, they went into Europe a couple of years ago and didn't do themselves justice. Right. And I think that might be their aim this year. He's probably said to them, let's get back in there and have a pop at it, you know, mm. uh, because they let themselves down. Well, I think it's. I think it's um, fast forward for Burnley. I think they're. You know, they're proving now that they're. You know, a, a team that are there to stay. They're well organised. They can get goals and keep them out. So to me, you know, it's going to be a top. They might get in the top That's six. Right? They, we, they talk about keeping hold of your best players. They got to keep hold of a manager. Well, yeah. There's, there's that. It's I mean, obviously, he's, he's, he has done a, a yeah. great. Him and all the staff there have, have done incredible. Yeah. So Palace. They were up to ninth. They're one behind Burnley now in the league. Um, or they're more or less level, I'm thinking. What do we think of them? They've got beat, obviously, at Liverpool, as expected. A disappointing game last night. Zaha did start. He did finish. In and out the game. I think he's so... Uh, he's a bit like your man, Rashford. He's very, very inconsistent. When he's good, he's good. Yeah. When he's good, he looks like a well beer. When he when he actually went to Manchester United, I thought he'd be the making of him. And I think it might be in the season after that Ferguson packed up. Right. When he went there, I thought that big field, he's got all it the takes. Stage, the stage, the crowd. Stage, you, you know, no better stage, yeah. And I suppose when he's diving a little bit, the ref's sort of um, going to give it at old Trafford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he, he could dive him. Manchester United is half and end up in the box. <laughs> he's that good. But, and Sir Alex left that year and he was in the reserves, wasn't he? Right. So he never got a break. But mm. uh, I thought that would have been his stage. But he'd been very in and out. Mm. I think he might have a little bit of an attitude problem. Oh, OK. Thinks he's better what he is. Right. Instead of getting... Well, it's like anything, you've got to prove it. You've got to get the goals yeah. in the net. You've got to make the chances. That's and right. then people start believing you in, as in like a full-time, consistent yeah. player who regularly brings the A game. Everyone yeah. wants the A game, and yeah. they're looking at him to do it. I mean, under Roy Hudson this year, they've had a great run. They play some good football, and it's, I, I really would like to see him get, a, you know, two or three more wins before the end of the season, finishing the top ten at worst. You know, so I think Roy Hudson deserves a pat on the back. Getting a team like that organised. You like Roy, don't you? No, I don't. I actually, I've seen him down the King's Road a couple of times. Oh, South I, yeah. He, he, he must have a little place around here somewhere. I asked him his autograph. I, yeah, I see him standing outside Chelsea ground one day. Maybe he wanted the manager's job. <laughs> <laughs> Only kidding, Roy. Um, yeah, but no, he's done a great job. And um, fair play to Palace. They've got tremendous support. You know what I mean? They started that sort of um, continual 90 minutes cheering, getting the team going. So I dare say home support was important to them. 
which that obviously no one's got at the moment. Yeah, they, uh, I, I don't know. It seems, it, we said it from the the minute that after the lockdown, the team that wants it most, and it seemed that they Burnley wanted it more last time. Yeah, and uh, again, two teams that they're playing for their highest spot, maybe yeah. both of them ever in the Premier League. Um, but I, 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 I truly, deep down, when they were talking last night about how they let themselves down in Europe, and I think mm. that's probably his motivate. That's what he's motivated. He's motivating his players on that now. Yeah, good. Well, let, let, let's hope they get gets there. there and they, he does, does himself proud. They do you know? deserve it. And yes. Maybe Sean Dice will get a chance at one of the big, big clubs if indeed he don't get support from the the, the money boys at Burnley. And I love the kid Barnes up front. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The big, about, I'm surprised the big clubs never bought him. Yeah, no, he was a very, very. He's a very talented player. Yeah. Okay, tonight, massive game at the Amex. Man United come into town, playing Brighton. Brighton are playing well at the moment, played real well at Leicester, probably should have won. Beat the Arsenal the week before. Now they've got Man United, obviously at home. They beat Man United, I think, the last three times they've met them at home. They don't fear anyone. I, th I think so. I mean, I think, I think Graham Potter has done a tremendous job. I mean, um, the owner of the club, Tony, Tony Bloom, you know, he's a very shrewd operator. You know, and like, um, they've got some good players there. I mean, Marpe, Malpe. Neil Malpay, he's their top scorer at the moment. He's got nine goals. All right, it's not a lot, but like, you know, Brighton, as you say, they're a well-organised, strong yeah, exactly. team. I mean, that, that is like, you know, credit to, to the boss. Absolutely. No big players. They sold one of the best players to Fulham, didn't they? Mm. Uh, the winger, uh, Knockart or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I used to like Knockart. I couldn't um, believe he went, because he, 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 he was a live wire. You know, he was he double showed, dangerous all the time. He shows he's got a decent squad. Yeah, no, that's true. So, we'll go to the... The favourites for tonight, Man United are favourites to get the to get the job done. I mean, if we're honest, the last fourteen games they're unbeaten. Seven of them were in cup games, which okay, so they've only got fifty fifty percent in the Premier League. But in them them games, they beat Man City. They beat oh, Chelsea. Don't wait for to go down. They drew with Wolves, <laughs> drew with Spurs. So I mean, they're tough fixtures. You know, they were top four, top five fixtures all the time. Well, which goes to show that it might be these time of, the type of teams they struggle against, and they struggled against Norwich in the week. Yeah, but I think he made changes against Norwich. He was sort of like uh, he wanted to give the other boys a run out. Fred McTominay. Um, if he puts his best team out tonight, and they're going to say, "Look, we're going forward to win this game," you know, I can see him getting a goal or two. Marcus, are you watching? Uh, and um, uh. hopefully, hopefully, it's him. You know. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, they've got, what, 49 points right now. At this time in the season, that's the worst points total Man United have had, you know, in, in, the, in the Premier League. they got a chance now. Imagine this. They could win the FA Cup. Obviously, they've got to beat Chelsea. Then they'd probably play Man City in the final. They'd have to beat them. They're in the Europa's League. They could win that. If they win a couple more games, they'll be in the top four qualify for Europe. But the chances are they'll get zero. So, Oli is going to have either an incredible, fantastic season, or he's going to be hero to zero. Oh, what do you reckon? Be looking for another job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <that's> <laughs> a, <laughs> I mean, that's how football is. So, you know, it's about results. It's about trophies. And when you're a big club like Man United, they don't really want to hear, "Oh, we're building for two, three years down the road." They want yeah, today. Well, got to be now. You know. So, I, I'm, I'm thinking that. United maybe have just got a little bit too much in the locker, maybe a little bit too much quality in midfield for Brighton. Will Brighton sit back and just take the pressure and then break on quickly and try and get up there? I mean, one of the things Brighton of king of the road right now, top of the league on, is they've got an amazing teams who have played. They've got four goals, four own goals. That's more than the rest of the, the seconds goal scorer at Brighton's got. So it's Marpe, nine goals, own goals, four. Yeah. So what's that mean? I don't know what that means. But well, does it mean corners are coming in, they're putting them under pressure, and defenders are like, you know, I know what in you're the goal. thinking, yeah. yeah no, you know, I'm not betting own yeah. goals tonight, by the way. I will not bet that. <laughs> Although I do think Maguire is due one. <laughs>
Yeah, but no, they they get bodies in the box, don't they? They got the big boys, and they get bodies. bodies oh, in set the box. pieces. I mean, the Giants are coming up. Yeah, I remember yeah. the old team there years ago. Notch County was like land of the Giants when you yeah. played them. They come up from corners. You were just my goodness. How are you going to stop these? Yeah, yeah. You know, I think when Brighton come up, you know, they've got that same factor feeling where, well, we just can't give these any room to run. They're just They'll play the dead balls. They'll play the dead balls. We've had so far twenty four of the Premier League games, 14 of them to this point have been nil-nil at half-time. Do we see goals in this game? Yes. I don't think... I, I, I think if it's nil-nil at half-time, I don't think both teams will settle for that. But I think Brighton are happy with a draw, for sure. You know, you know, grabbing a point and all the rest down there keep losing. So they just want to keep... You know, one at a time is enough for them. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I, think, I think Brighton will go for it. I don't think... Really? Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. I think the Seagulls. No, <laughs> well, I, I think they can see... But... Alan's being nice lately now. He's talking to my old club, Brighton. <laughs> of course I want him to win, but can I really see it happening? They want to cheer and kill me, aren't they? <laughs> oh, yeah, we are. We'll, we'll talk about that one tomorrow. <laughs> now, I, 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 I think they'll fancy their chances. I, I like the man. Again, I like the manager. I think he's... He was unheard of, his Swansea, wasn't he? Yeah, he yeah. Come yeah. From, no, he's done know? well. I mean, he's, he's, the, he, he's the rookie manager. He's been with them a year. Yeah. You know, obviously, we had uh, Chris, Chris Hewitt, Hewitt, yeah. there for a while. He's done okay, and a lot of people thinking, well, it was a bit harsh him letting him go. Sometimes you need a new boss to come in to sort of get <coughs> the players, just lift them a little bit, a few new ideas, play a little bit more open football. Um, and I suppose the jury was out for a while, whether it was the right call. But it's, yeah. it, to me, it's looking like Tony Bloom has said, hey, this guy's the business, we're taking him, we're supporting him. And um, I think Brighton, to me, are showing great organisation, breaking quickly, and they never give up. You know, and they might win the night by an own goal. Yeah, <laughs> two. <laughs> so how, how, what, what sort of score, Alf, I had to put you... <coughs> Ask you to put your neck on the line and give me a sort of. I think there'll be at least three goals. I I, I think it'll be two one. I'm going to go two one Brighton. Two. I fancy Brighton tonight. You do, yeah. okay. And um, I think their bubble's got a burst. Manchester United have been on a good long run. They they had a little bit. They, they, they've had a bit of luck along the way. They're very lucky against Norwich. Yeah, but that's last. a cup game. A lot of changes. Did they really want it? What are they thinking about? Um, this, I think, is like the, for the Champions League place. They want to make sure they get that. I would say that's the priority. Um, obviously, Pogba, Bruno, uh, they left out Matomini in the league and, and they left out Fred. They brought him back the other night. I don't know who he's going to start tonight. Obviously, we've got Marshall, Raf Rashford up front, Marcus. There's not a lot of pressure, but I need goals. Yeah, and um, I've, I've knocked me a few quid on Danny Innes as a backup, but like, I'd like Marcus to do it. You know, I can buy myself a new pair of shoes then, you know. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know whether my old club can do it, but um, I'm, I'm not abandoning them. I'm going to say a one-all draw. I think, yeah. No, I, I, I'm going... They're not the type of team that will win three 0 Brighton, are they? They'll, but they're, they're, they they don't they've score they three don't, goals all year. But you know, I think they, I think they might have. You might find they have. So they beat some like that. I can remember one game oh, right, where they had it, they had it right off, and they they battered one team. And I can see them. What I like about them, they will come out flying tonight. They won't sit back and see what Manchester United are going to do. They, mm. They'll think let's give them problems. And I think one thing that. Brighton have proved that they actually are still as focused and positive with no crowd in there. They've got a big home crowd, you know. They have they, yeah. a massive following behind them when they play at home. And you felt, I felt again, uh, against Arsenal that that might have been a really against them, but it wasn't. They really pumped away. Mm. And obviously at Leicester, they were tremendous at Leicester. You know, the penalty save and they had other chances. You know, they could have come away quite easily with a win. Now they play United. United have got, obviously, the point to prove that they are going to stay on that run, 14 unbeaten up to date, pushing for the Champions League place. Brighton need a win to really sort of be probably out of the danger zone, or more or less out of it. So I think we're in for a good game. 
as I say, I'm going 1-1. One, one. Alan's gone. I'm going 2-1. So all you people out there, get have your hard on Man United. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, from Pub Talk, me Don and Alan, you guys stay safe out there and um, we will be yes. having a review of tonight's game tomorrow and talking about the games there. So, bye for now.